This is an interview with Marilee Marino for the Youngstown Historical Center of Industry and Labor Oral History Project titled Women at Work. The interview is being conducted at the Youngstown Historical Center of Industry and Labor, known as the Steel Museum, on February 17, 2023. My name is Nicole Marino. So, um, go ahead and tell us your name. Marilee Marino. There you go. Uh, where did you and your family live when you were growing up? Uh, I was born in Warren, and then uh, my father died when I was one, and we moved with my grandmother in Pennsylvania. Okay. And uh, we lived there for probably five or six years. Mm -hmm. And then we moved back to Warren. And um, what else do I okay. uh, What did your parents do for a living? Or in this case, your, your guardians or your mom? Yeah. Uh, my grandparents, when I lived over there, it was my grandmother, my mother's mother, and her husband, which we called Grandpa. And uh, he worked for the railroad, so, uh, and my mother worked uh, at the uh, Ravenna Arsenal uh, for the Army as the uh, dry cleaning. She worked in the dry cleaning area. And uh, then we moved back to Warren, and we moved with my other grandmother, uh, Monfrino, and um, she was uh, she was just a stay-at-home housewife. Mm -hmm. So, and my grandfather uh, worked at a restaurant. Okay. And where'd you go to high school? I went to Warren G. Harding High School. Mm -hmm. When did you graduate? Nineteen fifty-seven. Very good. Uh, what did you do after high school? I worked at a, um, let's see, well, in high school, I, I started working at uh, Griswold's Department Store, downtown Warren. Griswold's? Is that what it's called? Griswold's. Griswold's. I yeah, it's mm -hmm. no longer there. And um, after that, I worked at a dry cleaners uh, of France dry cleaners. And from there I went to Ohio Lamp, which was uh, mostly women. And um, I worked there till I had, well, I uh, was married, I got married. And uh, I worked there till I had three children. <laughs> Wanted to stay home, and uh, I stayed home for quite a while. And let's see. Then I went back to work at Packard, which was mostly women, and uh, I stayed there until I had uh, my fourth child and decided that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> So how did you, thinking on, on some of those, how did you get your, your job, like once you were out of high school, or how did you get those, those jobs? Um, I believe my mother uh, spoke to somebody, because she worked at the dry cleaners, and that's when I went to work for the dry cleaners. Mm -hmm. And, and then how about Ohio Lamp? Ohio Lamp, somebody came and talked to my grandmother, uh, and her husband was a general manager, and they were taking applications, so she uh, said, maybe you should go over. And, and so I got dressed and went right over. and. Uh, put my application in, took a little test, and and that's how I got in there. And they hired you right away. Very yeah. good. What what kind of what kind of training um, 
what kind of training did you get or did you get training? How long did it take? What was it like? Okay, they give you a little test to see what you would be good at and um, and they it made me a um, welder. It was just little tiny needle-like things you had to weld and somebody showed you how to do it and then they let you try it and until you got onto it, and then you got you were on your own. So Is that, that's it, that. Was that the the work you ended up doing then? I did that yeah. for a couple of years, and then I went from that to um, oh, I forget what you call it now, putting in the uh, filament, mm -hmm. and the same thing. They give you a, a little paper that shows you how wide, how long it's supposed to be and so when you made them you measured it for a while till you got onto it and then you didn't have to measure it anymore. Okay. Did you feel like that training was sufficient to get you oh, on yeah. more? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and he's told me that. Uh, were you were you able to move up to more skilled positions or when you just mentioned it a change of position that you had. Was it more skilled? Was it? It, it, it wasn't that you ask for it or try. They just, they kind of moved you. Uh, they thought I would be okay with the mounting. So I just did the mounting and then I, I used to relieve the union person because uh, she was a welder. So I did the mounting and then I did the welding. So you did you didn't have to bid on positions. No, no. They would move you where you were needed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then um, um, so what were the job conditions like there? Well, it was pretty nice. I mean, uh, you sat and you did did your work and you got uh, your breaks and it was under union, so you made sure you got your breaks and you had to, I think we had to clock out for half hour lunch, and, but they had cafeteria there that we uh, could go down and right. eat. So um, maybe describe a typical day and the types of challenges you might face on a day-to-day -day basis, or if any. With the children? Like Whatever challenges working. you found um, on a typical day of work. Yeah. Oh, not much. So I, I, I lived a ha about two blocks away from where I worked, so I could I just walk to work, and uh, and I was on afternoon turn, and then I'd walk home or somebody'd pick me up, and uh, I didn't I, I really liked working there. I had no problems, really. Okay. Um, did you ever have Did you ever have to do shift work, or were you steadily on afternoon? I was steadily on afternoon turn, and after I got married, my husband wanted me on days, so uh, I asked for it. And if there was a space for me, then then you would go to day turn. Okay. Um. What was your working relationship like with your coworkers? Well, on afternoon turn, it was nice. Uh, a lot of times we would, uh, you know, you're doing the same thing over and over, so you have to distract your mind sometimes. Sometimes we would sing. Sometimes we would play uh, some kind of silly game that we could uh, guess at, you know. And it was, I, I, I didn't mind it. <laughs> you, you mentioned it was mostly women. Were there, there were men there too? There were, um, uh, God, they were men. Mm -hmm. They weren't uh, stock, stock men uh, uh, mm -hmm. to, to bring you trays and, and to work on the machines and uh, that kind of thing. Okay. There were men, yeah, um, a few. Ha, okay. How did management or administration treat workers? Um, I 
I think they were fairly fair. It was uh, uh, we? I don't remember ever seeing uh, anybody take out all the one time. One girl agitated another one until the agitated one smacked her, and then she's the one that got fired. Oh, where it should have been the other one, I thought. But oh, okay. <laughs> Um, were the out of curiosity, since you were saying it's kind of all women, were the were the supervisors also women too? Was management women, or was it no? There were men. Okay, men foremen, or yeah. Um, did you go through any strikes while you were on the job? I think one, uh, but I I didn't uh, go on the picket line. My husband didn't want me to, so I didn't. So what, what did you do then while they were on strike? Stayed home. You stayed home? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you remember why, what the reason for the strike was? I, no, I don't. Okay. How long were you off work? I don't remember that either. It wasn't too long. Mm -hmm. And then as far as living expenses while that was going on? It was a little bit tough. You know, because you didn't have that second income, but then uh, when you have to pay a babysitter and that, you're, you're not getting too far ahead anyway. Sure. So your husband's income was, was what you were doing for right. living expenses while that went mm -hmm. on. Um, did you ever have to report any grievances for yourself or for someone else? No. Um, what did you enjoy the most about your job? I think just getting out and talking, being with people, and and uh, and the money. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, what did you enjoy the least about your job? Oh, uh, I think. It, it's not about the job, but it was taking the time from your family and from other things that you had to do. I think it made it hard, but and it it, it was boring at times. And obviously, this was a full time job. Did you get a lot of overtime or anything that would exacerbate that or make it a little harder? Um, I think I worked overtime. Yes, I did work overtime because I remember. Uh, um, when my husband first asked me out, I was, uh, we were working 12 to 4, the afternoon turn, that was the afternoon turn shift uh, for Saturdays. And so he asked me to go to a picnic and I said, I can't go because I can't, I can't give up my time yeah. and a half. <laughs> right. Sure. Sure. So. It, it sounds like um, the atmosphere for women at, at that job was pretty positive, and you said you were having a good time, and I like mm -hmm. the things that you cited about that. Um, just out of curiosity, when you think of the other places that you've also worked, mm -hmm. were they, um, did they have the same kind of atmosphere? Did you run into any of these types of things at those other places? No, the dry cleaners that I worked at, uh, I was working with uh, other women, mm -hmm. you know, and and they became like friends. Uh, I never had that problem. And that was at the arsenal, you said, is that right? No, no, that no. was my mother that worked at the oh, arsenal. Oh, your dry cleaning job was not at the same place she no, was doing dry oh, cleaning. Oh, no, no. Okay. She, we both worked for the same company, but it was in in Warren. I see. I see. Um, how about anywhere else? Any positive or negative things that um, that you can think of mm. for different places? No, can't really. Okay. I don't know. I got along with most everybody. <laughs> Well, and when you when you were saying how uh, on the line there it was mostly women and, and this other job was mostly women, um, how many people were on the line when you were working there? 
How big was it? To, for each line, I think there were 14, like stations. Mm -hmm. They called them stations, and you had so, just so much space for yourself to do what you had to do at, pa at Packard. And at Ohio Lamp, with the lamps coming around, they cut, came around on a conveyor, and you would pick every, there was only like, uh, one, two, three, about five. And so every fifth one, you knew which, where you were at, and that's the stem you took off, redid, and then put on a different conveyor belt that went around. Okay. Yeah. Um, at any of the, at any of the jobs you were ever at, did you ever feel like a minority, or like you were out of place? No. No. Mm -mm. Um, was there a proper facility for women to have? privacy if you needed it, like like a dedicated women's restroom or a locker room? Oh, yes. Your locker rooms were all as you came in the door downstairs. And then uh, I worked on the third floor and uh, no elevators. We had to walk up. And uh, there was restrooms and a uh, uh, break room. Okay. Yeah. Um. Were you ever on a job site that did not have a women's restroom and you had to improvise or it, like any, you had mentioned that you worked at several places. Were you ever at a job site where you didn't have no access? No. Mm -mm. Are you or were you married? Um, yes, later on it, uh, I was working at Ohio Lamp and I, that's where I got married, when I got married. Um, you told us one good story, but it, it like, how did it affect your relationship with your husband working? Well, like I say, after we were married, he was, uh, he wanted me to get on day turn, so I got on day turn, and uh, yeah, he was still <laughs> switching once in a while. Sometimes he was steady on days, and sometimes he was on afternoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else that? Mm, no. <laughs> and how about um, with your children? How did working affect your children or? Well, it affects because you have to get a babysitter and, um, and of course you have to pay the babysitter mm -hmm. and they don't always do like you would do. Uh, and then on Saturday, when you were off, you had all the housework and the grocery shopping to do. Mm -hmm. So you worked all day Saturday at home, and then you had Sunday free. <laughs> okay. um, did you have to take care of your parents at the same time as raising your family and working outside of your home? Uh, no. My mother was in pretty good condition. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you retired, is that, you're retired now, right? I'm retired now. Um, did you get a, a pension plan from anywhere? No, no I didn't. Um, was there a buyout to where you were working? There was a buyout at Packard, but I wasn't there at the time. Okay. They only did that every once in a while. And were you, you didn't receive any benefits from the buyout because you were already gone. Right. Okay. Um, I didn't work. I didn't work there long enough. Mm -hmm. And you didn't retire from there. No, I I stayed home mm, after my fourth child. I stayed home for about thirteen years, and I went to work at Hills. And I loved it. It was like a family. <laughs> and uh, I worked there for, I think, 13 years mm -hmm. in Ames. And then I was going to retire from there. And uh, I was um, 
I was a widow by then. And, no, I wasn't either. I stayed home and I, uh, <coughs> uh, I, I lasted the summer. I liked it. <laughs> Come the fall, I, I wanted to go find something to do. Mm -hmm. So I went to Walgreens. Or, yeah, Walgreens. Um, so, how was the work environment different being in retail compared to being in a more industrial setting? Um, well, industrial setting was nice because you got Saturday and Sunday off. Retail, you worked whatever they say you worked, you know. You had to work Saturday sometimes, Sunday sometimes. Uh, that was the only bad part of that uh, because you had to work weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thinking of all the places that you worked, did you have any... Were there ever, were there ever any incidents that stand out as memorable, like a, as a um, as a challenge, maybe in the work environment. Well, I think when Hills uh, change from typing in all the information that you you now could scan. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was so much faster. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, uh, did you ever witness any episodes of violence at any of your workplaces? No, I never, no, I never did. Except the girl that slapped the other girl, oh. which was a fun story. I'm glad you shared that with us. Um, <laughs> And was being part of a local union beneficial to you and or your coworkers? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Because uh, when you had a grievance, you could go to the union. Okay. And did, um, did the company promote individuals from the union into management or did they hire from outside the union as you as you remember I I really don't remember okay. how they did that well that's all my specific questions you do you have anything you'd like to add about your experience in the workplace <sighs> no I enjoyed most of it I like I, I got along with almost everybody that's good yeah that's a very positive thing to hear. Well, thanks for sharing with us today, ma'am. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. <laughs> so you mentioned that some girls who were working together on the line, there was an incident where one girl slapped the other girl. Could you elaborate yes. on that a little bit? Okay. Uh, actually, all of us sat around a table, and we were doing um, a mounting work which is putting filaments in. And the one girl uh, that was at the head of the table, she sits on a high chair and she's putting in the wires. And so she's got her job. She was putting in the three wires and then it goes around to us and the welder and then to us to uh, put the filaments in. Mm -hmm. And there was a girl that I don't know where she was supposed to be, but she was standing there and she was talking to the, to the um, girl on the high chair. And I, I forget what the name of that, that station was. Mm -hmm. But anyway, she kept agitating her and agitating her and she wouldn't let her be. Well, the girl's trying to do her job, so she's keeping going, keeping going till the, uh, till the girl that was standing agitated her so much that she turned around and slapped her. And of course, the person that did the slapping was the one that got fired which it 
shouldn't have been because she was a nice girl. She was just trying to do her job, and the other one was the one that was out of bounds. Mm -hmm. but, that's, but she got fired. But she got fired, yeah. Because uh, that was... That, they they that, didn't both get fired, so why, no, why did just, that girl get fired? Yeah, yeah. D uh, the, because she did the slapping, mm -hmm. she's the one that got fired. Okay. Because it, it's the same nowadays, too. Whoever does uh, the slapping gets fired. It's even the same in department stores, no matter where you work. Right. That's what happens. Okay. Very good. Thanks.